to see you again, sir. And Harold Hook. Huh? report of the Boy Scouts of America, and a second piece of business we're, we'll put off for just a second. Uh, the official report will be given in just a second. I'd like to comment on two items. One, for the eighth straight year, we've had increased uh, uh, scouting uh, membership. And second, what our good turn is this year, it's the uh, four million of our boys will be out on the mission to uh, get food for the hungry. Well, we're looking forward to that, and to present our official uh, report is uh, Jeff Mosier, National Chief of the Order of the Air. Mr. President, I present to you the 1987 National Boy Scout Report. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I know, I know something of what's in here, and I know the progress that scouting has made. I also know about your program with regard to drug abuse and that you've reached, as I understand it, about 8 million young people in that. And it's a great pleasure to welcome you all again to the White House here. And now I'd like to ask Orion Beckham, the food maker, to smile for the test. Mr. President, Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very proud to have you. Thank you. off now for sure. continued things. Thank you. I Thank think you. there's something else coming and I'm going to need my hands. Yes. <laughs> Mr. President, this is a real unique opportunity for us uh, to recognize the First Lady with the Silver Buffalo for the role that she played at our National Jamboree and the role that she played with our drug program, Drugs of Deadly Game. Uh, the Silver Buffalo was started in about 1926 to recognize distinguished Americans. And we do have a group of distinguished Americans, of which you, Mr. President, happen to be one. <laughs> yes. And this will be the first time that we've had the great pleasure to recognize the First Lady of the United States of America with a silver buckle. So it's our pleasure. Not that. Yes. <laughs> I have the pleasure of putting aside. We have to read the citation first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Let me get all the <laughs> I have to say some nice things about you. <clears throat> Good morning. Long ago, President Theodore Roosevelt, one of the scouting staunchest supporters during the infancy of the Boy Scouts of America, described the White House as, quote, a bully pulpit. Now, President Reagan and his first lady have amply demonstrated the truth of that description. The President and you, Nancy Reagan, have used the bully pulpit to lead a vigorous and increasingly successful campaign against drug abuse among our youth. Your admonition, Just Say No, has strengthened the resolve of tens of thousands of young people to resist peer pressure to try drugs. You have taken the Just Say No campaign to countless meetings and conferences in more than 40 states. Following your leadership, the Boy Scouts of America launched a major anti-drug campaign two years ago. We were gratified to receive a strong endorsement from you and President Reagan for our Drugs, a Deadly Game program, which has touched the lives of more than 8 million Americans through brochures and leaders' guides, a videotape, and drug abuse awareness rallies. Thousands of our law enforcement explorers have brought the anti-drug message into the nation's elementary and middle school classrooms. The results have been heartening. While drug abuse remains a serious threat to young Americans, there is evidence that the tide has begun to turn. 
Your leadership has played a critical role in educating the nation's youth on the dangers of drug abuse and has helped millions of youngsters to know that saying no to drugs is the right thing to do. Your concern for the well-being of all Americans is not confined to the Just Say No campaign. You've also been active in the causes of Vietnam veterans, senior citizens, and emotionally handicapped children. You have given vital aid to programs seeking foster grandparents for handicapped children, and you are honorary national chairperson for aid to adoption of special kids. The esteem in which Americans hold you has been shown by your selection to the list of the 10 most admired and most influential women. A wife, mother, and first lady, you have set a sterling example of courage, graciousness, and concern for all of our people. For all of these reasons, but especially for your leadership in the battle against drugs, the National Court of Honor of the Boy Scouts of America takes much pride and pleasure in presenting to you, Nancy Davis Reagan, the Silver Buffalo Award. My. First woman, honey. The first first lady. Right? That's correct. <laughs> what can we say? I had my lines wrong. <laughs> the first first lady. First. All right. Thank, Thank you first. very much. Join the group Thank now you. for a group vote. Do you no, see? No. 